Hi guys, I thank you for this opportunity to share with you again. Uh, I wanted to do a movie review uh, on the movie uh, The Matrix, Enter the Matrix, the first one. Uh, this is one of the movies uh, just initially watching from the onset, you know, it just screamed out to me like there's a truth in this movie just shouting out and he just portrayed the gospel in a fantastic way. So much I thought, surely, the writers did it deliberately. I don't know, but <laughs> but uh, there's the truth to that story. Um, now, I'm going to give a brief summary of the story uh, before I kind of elaborate on the symbols and, and, uh, and see if you spotted any of um, yourself. So the story goes as a man, this man, Neo, and all his life, he's lived in this world uh, by a system, you know, he's told to sit in his cubicle every day of work, at work, and, and life is so structured, and, uh, and, um, and uh, but there's something as an intrigue in him, a curiosity of the things that cannot be explained. Um, and and these characters, he's fascinated by, and he follows the rabbit hole, and uh, and um, it leads him uh, to find these people, or they find him. Let me say, and and he comes to this injunction because the system always wants to keep. He locked in the system uh, to keep everyone in their place. Uh, but he comes to this place and he's given an option, uh, a choice to make between the blue pill and the red pill. And the blue pill, you know, sig symbolizes the placebo, placebo effect um, and continuing to believe the lie a life uh, oblivious to the truth, um, avoid, uh, avoid from reality, or to choose the truth, however bitter it is. Uh, and, um, and he chooses the red pill, and he's pulled out of the system, and he realizes all his life he's been asleep. And so is everyone in the world he knows in this in the matrix, in this system, and it's a construct. Uh, and it's just in the mind. And the reality is, is an ongoing war. Uh, humanity versus these machines who are just uh, taking, that has taken control of people's minds uh, to use humanity for their own sake. And man is fighting for their freedom, and the few people that have come out of the system, they they uh, build this city called Zion, <laughs> and um, and they fighting to liberate all humanity um, from this slavery of this system, and 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 they realize they're free and able to. Come into get into the system and uh, and uh, and uh, br break the rules, as it were. You know, as they in this fight, and 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 it's a bit hard for him the transition because in the system everything was structured. His life was always structured for him. Um, but out of the system, it's really a shock. Um, it's not easy anymore. The, the, the stakes are very high. And, um, and, uh, uh, but he also realizes meaning and purpose. And he realizes he's been cho he's, uh, chosen. Uh, they believe he's the chosen one who's going to free, uh, save humanity. And he followed the, the series to the third movie, 
uh, in the final battle. Yes, I'll come to that. But let me start basically explaining the symbols and see if you've missed any. Hopefully when I was narrating, summarizing, you could already hear uh, some of these symbols. Uh, but I wanted to first give you a scripture from the Bible um, for context. And this uh, scripture comes from First Peter chapter 1, 6, um, 18 and 19. And it says, For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things, uh, as silver and gold. You know, we were, we were redeemed from, you were redeemed from your vain conversation, our lifestyle, vain lifestyle that we received by tradition from our fathers. You know, and we are redeemed by the precious blood of, of Christ, Jesus, uh, as a lamb without blemish and without spot. So, 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 so you see that um, it's a story of, yes, redemption. And uh, so the story goes, yes, uh, as we know this life and this world we live today, we're born into this world and we're told you need to go to school. Education is the key to success. Uh, we're told uh, to, to um, basically we're told to serve wealth and the material and riches, silver and gold, money. Um, you know, uh, money will get you friends. Money will get you will get you if you who help you marry the woman you love money will secure your life um, and this is why every day we wake up to go to work uh, and our life follows that pursuit of trying to, to make um, trying to find happiness uh, through getting money you know, and uh, and all our lives, that's, you know, and it keeps us in this system and a structure where society functions. I'm not, and I'm not saying all of this is wrong or bad, but there's a great meaning of life, of our lives, and it's more than these things. You know, and um, and many times we have uh, we put value, we put our worth on how much possession we have, and this is this is true. I find myself even uh, sometimes uh, unconsciously, involuntarily, unconsciously I do this, where I esteem people uh, and give regard to people who are accomplished, people, to stars, to people who have achieved a lot in their life. I, I tend to honor people who are successful in life much more than seeing, when I see somebody poor, somebody on the street begging, um, it's easy for me to walk past them and not think uh, of the value, of the worth of their life. Do you know like, we assign worth to to people who have made it in society. Unconscious, but this is the thing, because the system is set up that way, and we just born into this world and we're given, and, and it's very easy um, to judge our value and worth on, by those things. Uh, but it's, it's something when we take the red pill, when you choose the red pill, I love the red pew. Red pew is, is uh, red, as as it says here. How we redeemed by the precious blood of Christ. Do you know, uh, and and uh, and we wait, and we are made awake in our spirit to the re which is the reality, the real person we are is the spirit 
And when our spirit is made awake, we find meaning and the real purpose and calling in God that life is more than this. You know, um, life is more than chasing the vanity, vain lifestyle. There's something bigger, you know, that we are alive for today. And, and we, we realize God's kingdom. And this is the city of Zion. Uh, there's a scripture I like in uh, the book of Hebrews. And it says, uh, and it says, uh, 